Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for December 31st of 2023 is titled Illustrious, a Simulation of the Universe. So what do we see here? What we're going to look at in a moment is actually a simulation of the universe done nearly a decade ago now, taking many millions of CPU hours to simulate what the universe, uh, how the universe may have formed. And what we'll look at is the entire structure of a universe as we understand that. So let's go ahead and play the video. And what we're going to see, first of all, is very shortly after the Big Bang, structures have already formed. Now, these structures, if we look in the lower right, are actually dark matter. And that's because the ordinary matter, the stuff that you and I and the planets and the galaxies and stars are made up of, does not condense into structures this quickly. It was too spread out from the early history of the universe. And only dark matter, which does not interact with the high energy radiation present was able to collapse at this time. And we'll notice that for the first couple of billion years after the Big Bang that here we're looking at the structure of the dark matter. Then we'll see a transition into the gas temperatures. So we're starting to look at temperatures in the gas and we'll start to see some massive explosions going on. You might think these are supernovae, but a supernova on the scale we're looking at would hardly be noticeable. These are actually emissions from these central black holes, supermassive black holes of galaxies expelling material outward in bursts around it. So not from the black hole itself, but from the material around it. And as we continue on, we're approaching the halfway point through our the age of our universe. And we still see many of those explosions, but we're going to see another transition here where we're looking now at heavy elements. What are heavy elements? Well, in this case, we're looking at things like helium and carbon, which are heavy elements compared to the vast majority of the universe, which is just hydrogen gas. So as we approach the 10 billion year mark here, we start to see the distributions of those heavier elements throughout space. And those are the heavier elements that, of course, make up things like our own Earth. Now we see a transition again. Again, we're going back to the dark matter to see how the dark matter has condensed and formed those structures. And that has pulled in the ordinary matter so that what we actually see in the universe. So we see dark matter and we then transition it to just the visible light, the ordinary matter and the galaxies that we're used to looking at in the universe. So the dark matter had to collapse first so that the ordinary matter could condense around it and then form the structures that we see today. Why do we need the dark matter? Because otherwise it's unable to form the structures that we see on the time scale. So we need that additional early collapse of the dark matter in order to see the structures today. Otherwise, we should not see the giant galaxy clusters that we do see in the universe today. Now, is this simulation perfect? Definitely not. There are still things, and any simulation requires simplifications of how things work. So in this case, this simulation produces far more old stars than we actually see in our universe. But it does give us a good idea of how our universe may have formed and explains many of the things that we do see in our universe today. So that was our picture of the day for December 31st of 2023. It was titled Illustrious, A Simulation of the Universe. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be a grand design. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.